So we need to display the following school lunch data graphically. Every day we serve a different number of lunches. Uh, the day is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the lunch is served Monday 43, Tuesday 38, Wednesday 54, Thursday 40, and Friday 31. So we're going to make a t-chart, but we should note that these are ordinal categories. This is a difficult point that some people fail to, to pick up on. The, the days of the week are not numerical, They're, so that's a qualitative kind of data that we're collecting here because the categories are not numerical. Um, they can be ordered, though, so they are ordinal categories. Don't get confused. Clearly, the number of lunches served, that the data is numerical, but the categories themselves are not numerical. So it's qualitative categories, and they are ordinal because they can be ordered. So we start by simply making our axes. We are going to make a bar graph because ordinal data should be displayed in a way that preserves the natural order of the categories. So we'll start with Monday. We'll make our bar graph so that we have three uh, little squares for Monday. We're going to have a gap because there's a gap kind of between Monday and Tuesday. There's a natural gap. Monday lunchtime is separated from Tuesday lunchtime. Um, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's our days. And up along the y-axis here, every square is going to be worth two lunches. So we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then count to 20, then to 30, then to 40, and then to 50. So really, we just start by marking off wherever the, uh, the bar chart comes to. On Monday, the bar goes as high as 43. That's about halfway between 42 and 44. Uh, Tuesday, it's dead on at 38. Wednesday, we mark at 54. Thursday we mark at 40 and Friday at 31 and that's how we construct our bar graph and then we can color our bar graph and there we have it done.